Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this chapter, we talked about ARIMA models and uh, these models are some of the most widely used uh, models in time series forecasting. And uh, these models are based on the autocorrelation in the data and these ARIMA models are univariate in the sense that we regress uh, YT on its own uh, lab values. And uh, there are three components of any ARIMA model. The first is uh, the stationarity part or the integration part and before doing anything we make sure that our time series is uh, stationary and to know whether our time series is stationary we perform various tests such as uh, the ADF test or KPS uh, test and both uh, these tests and many other tests will show us whether our time series is stationary and I talked about uh, a level stationary series a time series stationary after the first difference and a time series stationary after the second difference. So before doing anything you have to make sure that your time series is stationary and once your time series is stationary you use that stationary data to go ahead and apply the AR process and the MA process on the model and a time series may have P lags of YT on the right hand side and this type of model is called autoregressive and then we may need to include various uh, lags of the forecast error and uh, we call this type of model MAQ model and here we include uh, Q lags of the forecast error in the model and based on the ARP and MAQ we can build our full ARIMA model in the form of uh, ARIMA PDQ and here D denotes uh, the number of differences that we took to make our time series stationary and P is the number of AR processes we are including in the model and Q denotes the number of uh, MA processes that we are including in our model. And the basic thing uh, in the ARIMA model is to select the order of the AR process and MA process. That is how many lags of uh, YT we should be including on the right hand side and how many lags of the forecast error we should be including on the right hand side. And to select P and Q we use uh, ACF and PACF and you will see one of them decaying exponentially and you will see a significant spike in one of them at uh, a certain lag and no significant spike after that and based on uh, the ACF and PACF you choose the order of uh, the AR and uh, the MA processes and you can also extend the concept of uh, the ARIMA models that we discussed so far to include the seasonality in the ARIMA model and here your ARIMA model will have two components a non-seasonal component and a seasonal component and again uh, you use uh, PAR processes and uh, QMA processes for the non-seasonal component and similarly you include uh, P and Q AR and MA processes for the seasonal component in your model and again you can use uh, the ACF and PACF uh, to select uh, the orders of uh, the non-seasonal component and uh, the seasonal components of uh, an ARIMA model and based on uh, the seasonal lags you select uh, this uppercase P and uppercase Q. Uh, this is pretty much that we did in this chapter. We try to explain why T in terms of uh, its own uh, lags and the lags of uh, the forecast error. So these models are some of the most uh, powerful models uh, while forecasting. I will encourage you to use uh, these models in your uh, forecasting project.